So this is the process of fertilization which convert the secondary ovum into definitive ovum. Am I clear? Is that right? No problem? Now, so what is happening? Another thing I did not mention but I think I should mention. Uh, if this is the ovum and this was the sperm, before really sperm enter in, these their membrane surface molecules lock in. What does it remind you? Before really it enters in, some molecules on the, what is this? Membrane of ovum and some molecules on the membrane of sperm, they lock with each other like this. So that the first one which touches does not fall away. What does it remind you? I think nasty things coming to your mind. No, I'm not talking about that. This should remind you some important molecules. The molecule here is called integrins. Integrins. You know, female wants to have integration. Integrins. <laughs> right? Sperm wants to go in. We're always behaving in some funny ways and displaying disintegrins. Disintegrins. So molecules on the ovum surface are integrins and molecules on the sperm surface are disintegrins. When I told you that they come and touch with each other, actually this is touching mechanism is by the interaction between the integrins and the disintegrins. That really locks the membranes of the two cells together so that this uh, sperm which has traveled such a long travel should not, after reaching to the ultimate place, it does not fall away. Is that right? So this is how they are held together, right? Now, if someone asks you, if someone asks you that once the sperm touches here and it is entering in, how the egg responds? You should give three answers. What is the response of the egg to the arrival of the and magic touch of the sperm? There are three answers. Number one was Number one was cortical and zona reaction. Cortical reaction we have discussed in detail already. You know the first purpose should be what? All the windows, all remaining windows should be shut down. Right? So this is one. Number two is completion of second meiotic division. Completion of second meiotic division. Again, what I'm asking? That when the sperm really touches the ovum, ovum has to have to do certain things in the honor of arrival of sperm. Number one, it undergoes cortical reaction and bring alteration zona pellucida and prevent the entry of other sperms. Number two, ovum in hurry completed, second meiotic division, throws out one polar body and now secondary ovum is converted into definitive ovum. And number three, that ovum does its metabolic activation. Actually, ovum without sperm, they are in a good mood or bad mood. They should be high metabolically too active or less active. You think ovum without the sperm should be more active? I think there is a common sense, isn't it? That ovum and if sperm never comes, ovum is less metabolically active. When the magic touch of the sperm is there, ovum become metabolically very active because it has to do many metabolic reactions and it has to divide into two cell stage, four cell stage, morula, blastocyst, bilaminar disc, trilaminar disc, embryo, fetus, right? And maybe eventually it become Luis Alberto. <laughs> so, ovum has to become very metabolically active. That is also because if sperm never comes, ovum does not become truly metabolically active and due to that reason, within few 40, 24 to 48 hours, it dies. A fertilized ovum lives for long, long time. Is that right? So, three things happening to the ovum. Number one, it is doing the cortical reaction on the arrival of the sperm. Cortical reaction, number two, it hastily completed its second meiotic division and convert from secondary ovum to Definitive ovum and number three, Metabolic. it metabolically activates itself for the uh, very good bright future which is coming there. 
right of course metabolic metabolic activation factor is provided by the sperm don't underestimate them even though they are small right meanwhile when ovum is doing its functions what happens to sperm i have told you it has left its dust behind its membrane and it has jumped in naked then its tail is cut off it degenerates and then its cytoplasm also disappears now what is this this is nucleus from the ovum uh, sorry nucleus from the sperm this is the nucleus from the sperm and meanwhile one polar body has been thrown out this is a nucleus from ovum is that right let me make it more sensible that this should be blue this is nucleus of the sperm and this red one is the nucleus of ovum 23 cr chromosomes are present over here and 23 chromosomes are present over here now what this is before they really touch each other now look at the beauty it's not only male and female touching and leading to fertilization the sperm and the ovum touching each other not only that even these nuclei will do special preparation to greet each other now they will, this will do very special preparation many of the enzymes inside it become active and this will also become super active then they will meet each other so what they will do both of them they will double their dna this will double its dna this will also double its dna genetic material it was 23 chromosomes it will make from 23 single chromosome to 23 double act and for example again it's a very important concept to understand look this is a female chromosome right and this is in the nucleus of the definitive ovum and here is a male chromosome right is that clear now this is maternal chromosome number 1 maternal chromosome number 1 and suppose this is paternal chromosome number 1 baby should have get both one copy of paternal and one copy from maternal but you know they are thinking of the future this cell now this is zygote this cell will soon divide into one cell or two cells two cell so what really happens this is the nucleus brought by the sperm and this is the nucleus present by the definitive ovum now 